This video is going to show you how to watch GeoBlocked TV using the service Unotelly. Now this is a typical page you might see if you try and access a site like the BBC iPlayer and you're not in the UK. Now I'm in Australia and this is the message that I get. And there are a number of programs, channels that I'd like to watch in the UK and in America, but I'm blocked from doing so. Now there are a number of ways that you can watch geo-blocked content. You can get a VPN or a proxy server or use an extension to a browser. What I'm using is a DNS redirector. In other words, changing the DNS settings on my router and then all devices in my network are able to access geo-blocked content. And the service I'm using is called Unotelly. So what is DNS? The domain name system is used to resolve human-readable host names like google.com into machine-readable IP addresses like 173.194.39.78. The DNS is like a phone book for the internet, and if you know a person's name but don't know their telephone number, you can simply look it up in a phone book. DNS provides this same service to the internet. And when you visit google.com in a browser, your computer uses DNS to retrieve the website's IP address, 173.194.39.78. Without DNS, you'd only be able to visit this website or any website by putting its IP address directly into your browser. Your ISP provides DNS settings for you as a customer, but you can change these settings. You can change the DNS server for your entire network on your router, or set it individually on a PC or other device. All the devices on your network, PCs, smartphones, tablets, game consoles, and anything else connected to the network, get their DNS server settings from the router. By default, your router uses your internet service provider's DNS servers. Change the DNS server on your router, and every other device on your network will use the DNS server you specify. There are a number of sites that offer DNS unblocking. One of them is Unotelly, the other Unblock Us. The one that I'm going to go through is Unotelly. And you can get a free trial with Unotelly. And its pricing is pretty reasonable, I believe, depending on the package that you want. And they have a, a whole lot of channels that you can gain access to and there, there's content from the UK and the US and Australia a number of European channels in France Germany so it gives you a lot of channels that you can now unblock and Netflix in many different countries and at the end there are all the websites so if, the, if I wanted to go to one of these websites now and I haven't turned on the DNS settings yet. I'm still using my Australian IP address. So if I go to Bravo, into an American site, and I want to watch the full episode of The Real Housewives of New York City and pick this one to look at. This content is currently unavailable. So I can't watch it. So there are many, many channels which are unavailable. So what you need to do is change your DNS settings. And they have a map here which from which you can pick the DNS servers closest to your regions, which speeds up your access. So being in Australia, I'm going to be picking one from Sydney. And as I'm picking a server that's, cl that's close to my geographic region, then it's going to be faster and won't be as much lag, particularly when you're streaming video. So let's look at how it works. Uh, I'm doing this on a Mac computer and as you can see here, the setup is incomplete and I haven't got an, any access to international content at the moment. I haven't turned on the DNS. So I need to pick a server. So I'm going to global servers and down to the one closest to me which is in Sydney and these are the IP addresses that I need to put into my settings so both of these here 
Dynamo enabled in Unotelli means that you can switch servers dynamically wherever you are. So if I was watching uh, the BBC iPlayer and then I wanted to watch uh, NBC in America, I don't have to go in and change the settings to different regions. I can. It's done all. It's all done dynamically. So what I've done is just copied the server addresses into a note, which is here. So I've got them and actually made a note of my current DNS servers from Big Bond, which is in um, Australia. So I've got them ready and now I can um, go and change the settings. It does give you some setup for all the different devices. So I can change the DNS settings on each individual device and then I would only be able to access content on that device or I can change the DNS on the router and then everything in my network, all my devices can all access any content anywhere. So I was going to show you how to change the DNS on a couple of computers, so on the Mac computer, on a Windows computer, on the iPad and on the router. So I'm going to change it on the Mac computer. So I'm going to go into the System Preferences. Let's move that over there so I've got it handy. And into Network. And you can currently see my DNS server there is set to the router. The computer that I'm, that I'm doing this video in has an Ethernet connection and it has a Wi-Fi connection. So it's currently showing the Ethernet connection. So there's the, the DNS server for the Ethernet connection. And if I switch to the Wi-Fi and go to Advanced and into DNS, it's also showing the router's address. So if I change the DNS on the Mac, it will only be changed for this computer. If I still try and access the BBC on my iPad and I haven't changed the settings, it's still going to be using my Australian address because it's going through the router. So to change it on a Mac, we go into Advanced and into DNS and simply change it here. So take a note of what your current DNS server is. But I'm going to change that here. So I'm going to add a new one. So they're the two DNS server settings for Sydney and then OK. And now they're changed down here, apply, and go back to the, the Unitelli page, reload the page, and it checks the status and it's now active. So I could now go to that same site that I went to before, and go back to the channels, and the Real Housewives. And I can now watch that episode. And setting it up on an iPad, you simply go into the settings and into Wi Fi and select the network that you're connected to. Now I have two wireless networks because I have a dual band router. So I have one which is a 5 gigahertz network, which is a bit faster, and that's the one that I've changed the DNS settings on. So if you select your network, and then tap the I, which provides all the settings. You can see here that I have changed the DNS server. So here's the, the, the Unotelli DNS server for the Sydney region. It's my router. So it's still going through the router, all the traffic, but it's using this DNS setting to actually find content. So if I switch to the other network, select that one if I'm using that network and tap the I it has the router as the DNS server and the router is is also using the ISP settings so when I go to the Unotelli page in a browser and let's just reload it the current network I'm using is not set up for you know, DNS. So if I wanted to go to, to watch Netflix or BBC or ITV, it's not going to let me. But when I switch my network, 
to my dual band network and this is the one that's currently the default and then go back to the Unitelli site and reload it it will tell me that it is set up so everything is set up and active so now I can use one of my apps so in the using the iPad I've downloaded apps from a number of these channels so we're going to the British TV and the BBC iPlayer then I can watch the BBC from the app picking any of the contents of so Big EastEnders and play. That's just buffering at the moment. So it's no problem, I can access that content and go to a different um, country. So if I went to one of the American providers, so go to the Discovery Channel, for example, and I can play something from from there. So to watch any content on a mobile device you do need to download the appropriate app. See the description for a video on how to download apps from different countries. Now if I set you know DNS up on my router then all my wireless devices and any other device in my network will be able to access geo-blocked content. Now on their page there is a whole list of routers with instructions on how to do this and I'll demonstrate this on an Apple Airport Extreme and so firstly I wanted to turn off the DNS settings for the computer so I can go back and see it's still set to the Sydney global servers so I can go back into the DNS settings and remove them and then the router server, the router DNS settings are back. And apply. So when I come back and reload this page, it will not be set up on this computer incomplete. So now I want to do set it up on the router. So I need to edit the settings. And go to internet. And I'm going to change the DNS servers here. Got a, a I have written them down, so in case I want to delete this process, I can go back in the router and put them back. So I'm going to, we're going to add the global settings. So I put them both in and update the router. So if I go back to the Unitelli page and reload it, it's set up and all accounts are active. So let's try and go to one of these pages. So the BBC iPlayer. And just pick anything to have a look at. So this one. So that one works. And test it out on the iPad. So I can go into settings on the iPad and into the wireless network that I'm using and into the I. So I've replaced the DNS with the router's DNS settings now. So I can go back to one of my apps. So I go into the BBC iPlayer and try and play that same program. So this one's working, it's not blocked us out. This appears to be a more efficient way of accessing geo-blocked content, changing your DNS settings on the router. So no matter what device I have, changing the settings on the router means everything can access all of this content. See the description for links to the other two videos in this series, which is how to set up a free iTunes iTunes account from a different country without using a credit card and then how to download the apps from different iTunes accounts in different countries. So that's all for this video.